Which one looks more fun? I think the yellow is the most familiar. The okay, cool. I get made fun of for the other tool a lot. That looks like a book, to be honest with you. That's what everyone says. <laughs> Hey, I'm Lauren Windham, top champion of season 52, episode 11 on Food Network. Today, I'm gonna go through how to make a classic aioli and then we're gonna do a couple spin-offs. So a couple egg yolks, one whole egg, some salt, garlic going here. Oh, I should have probably peeled this ahead of time, huh? Best thing to do for me. Also, I recommend wearing gloves unless you want your hands to smell like garlic all day and I guess I'm just gonna deal with that. I'm honestly gonna use my garlic press. Obviously you can mince garlic with a knife. When I was in culinary school, I got made fun of for bringing this garlic press, but every single one of my classmates asked me if they could borrow it. So my chef at the time came up to me and he was like, what are you fucking Betty Crocker or something? And I was like, honestly, I kind of wish I was. I'm going to start by adding some lemon in here. Once I get that going, I'm gonna start it, get that whipping really well. And then I'm gonna start slowly pouring in the oil to start emulsifying it. So a lot of times when you're making aioli, the machine can make it warm, which causes the emulsion to break. That's annoying. Of course, you can always fix a broken emulsion by kind of redoing the whole process. But I like using cold water to keep the temperature low. It also keeps the consistency of the finished product really nice because you don't want your aioli to be too thick. I like it being sort of drippy. I don't know. It's sexy. <laughs> aioli is sexy. All right, now that it's spilling out of the sides, <laughs> we're good. It's so good. I dip a cookie in that. 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 I think that's a, honestly like a really good start. I got to put this in the, some containers because um, it's overflowing, obviously. Then we're going to go on to our next couple flavors. All right, we are back. Topping off my wine a little bit. I've got my aioli portioned out into the base aioli and I'm gonna turn this one into a chipotle lime aioli. I'm gonna start by adding my lime. Oh, my knife is dull. <laughs> my bad. Starting with some lime juice here. The acid never hurt anyone. Well. <laughs> you know what I mean. All right, so I've got some roasted red peppers here. I'm gonna put a couple in there. I could have bought fresh red peppers and roasted them, but I didn't feel like doing that. I've got some chilies and adobo. Yeah, I'm gonna get that blending. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, technology is so hard. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of the aioli base. It looks pretty, right? The first time I ever made this, I put it on top of grilled salmon. The acidity from the lime to sort of contrast with the fat of the salmon, the spiciness and smokiness of the chipotle, adobo peppers, the sweetness of the roasted red peppers, all of that stuff goes so well with salmon. That's it. aioli number two. All right, so I did say before it was so good I could dip a cookie in it. It's so good. I dip a cookie in that. So I'm gonna do this and eat my words. I'm so, <laughs> this is so gross. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't ever do that. Our third rendition of aioli, I'm gonna make some black garlic aioli. Black garlic's pretty trendy. It's basically fermented garlic. It's got a lot of umami flavor. It's got a little bit of sweetness. It's sort of like a smoky balsamic version of garlic. I'm gonna add my base aioli again. We've got some black garlic paste here. I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper as well, or a lot of black pepper. I really like black pepper. Probably a little bit of sugar. Black garlic is sweet, and I kind of wanna like enhance that sweetness. I'm adding more salt because it's super fatty. Sauces in general, you just want the flavor punch, especially if this is gonna be on a burger. It's gonna do nothing for the burger if there's not enough salt in it. That is a flavor punch. Okay, it's got a little bit of smokiness. It's got the sweetness from the fermented garlic. We're gonna get it jarred up and go from there. So I've got a really good slice of griddled bread here that I rubbed a little bit of garlic on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spread original aioli base on it. So this is kind of gonna be a play on like the tomato sandwich, which is super popular in the Southeast. I also got some really beautiful heirloom tomatoes that I cut up here. Put some chives. Also do a little bit of Malden salt, some black pepper. Um, and then I just got this really good olive oil that I'm gonna finish this with. Oh my gosh, it's so juicy. <laughs> That's what's up. 
Oh my God, it's so good. Classic aioli, seasonal tomatoes, good olive oil. Oh my God, it's divine. All right, y'all, thanks so much for hanging out. Like, comment, and subscribe to Crude Culinary. Um, I had the best time cooking with you all today. So I'll see you next time. Make this at home, you won't regret it.